Well, ladies and gentlemen, Marion Blair here. Don't ever retire because you're going to run out of time to do anything. I don't know how I ever did it when I was working. Anyway, I wanted to put this out. It's something I've been watching for a couple of years. And it's something that happens just when it's cold. And what I call cold is like down around freezing or below freezing uh, here in Louisiana. I know you guys up north would laugh at that. But I use this little trickle charger and I've got it hooked up uh, through my fender there, that little flapper inside the fender well. And then I come in right here, which I suspect might be the culprit, uh, and I'll talk about that. Now, I walked out here one night when it was cold like that, like I mentioned, cold weather, and uh, I noticed that what you see right there is my lights are going on and off, on and off inside the truck. Didn't touch the truck, didn't have the key fob with me and nothing. And uh, I suspect the culprit is two things, one or two things, possibly three. And that little gizmo there that you see pointing to is, I think it's called a smart sensor. Ram puts it on the driver's side on the battery, and it looks at temperature and voltage and different things. And this is just some, you can see the voltage and the, amp, the, the craftsman meter there is an amp meter. I think that's 0 0.9, 0 0.7. It's varying. You can see the voltage is varying as this thing does that. And uh, nothing earth shattering about what's going on there with the voltage and amps other than you can tell that the uh, battery charger is going on and off. Now, the reason I say it's one of two things is because it's, it, it's either that little smart sensor that RAM puts on there or it's the NOCO battery charger because they advertise that it's temperature controlled and all this business. So, like I said before, I think they're fighting each other. And the third possibility is that maybe if I, you can see right here, I've got my line coming in from the charger. Maybe if I moved it over to here, uh, that might make a difference. But I don't, I don't really think so, but it's possible. I may move it over there and try it. But it gets so it gets that cold very rarely down here, so it's it's hard to you know tell anything. So that's the three possibilities, and of course the truck's going to take priority. So it's the smart sensor on the NOCO battery charger has to go. And uh, I, like I said, I may try rewiring it on the other side of that sensor, but I don't I don't know when I'll do that. Uh, the simple answer though was to just hook up this. Northern Freight, simple, dumb charger that doesn't sense anything, just puts out a steady trickle charge, which is what the NOCO is supposed to do, too. I'm not blaming the NOCO, uh, other than I don't know if I like that temperature sensing business. So if you're using a NOCO charger and it talks about that temperature control and sensing and all that, uh, you might want to watch out for what I saw here because this is happened several times and as I said the fix was just get get a dumb little simple trickle charger yeah another gremlin I guess you could say <laughs> not really but you know when I was a diesel mechanic many many years ago we didn't have stuff like this to deal with we didn't have, it was just you know the engine itself and simple stuff now with the emissions and everything Man, you got to be a rocket scientist. But I'm going to keep fighting it, and I'll pass on to you guys anything that I find like this that I think is interesting. I appreciate you guys watching my video. And until next time, adios.